Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a black smoky eye using the BoxyCharm and Pure Cosmetics palette. Um, so normally smoky eyes are really intimidating, but you know, if I'm doing it, then it's gonna be easy. So if you guys are interested in seeing this look, then keep watching. All right, so when I do a darker eye, I like for my skin to look really luminous and just super glowy. So for this, I'd like to use the Luminizer Primer and this one's by Dr. Brandt. This one's really good and it also fills in your pores and it just kind of blurs them. So I like to just put that on my nose and my chin first to get the most coverage. Then I just kind of massage it all in. And this one's good because it makes your skin look really luminous, but it doesn't get greasy throughout the day, which I think is really cool. All right guys, so now I go in with my Lavender HD Concealer by NYX. Then I just put it underneath my eyes here, just to give like a nice glow. I'm gonna hit my chin and my forehead. If you guys have um, dark circles under your eyes, you can always use um, an orange concealer or more of like a coral, and that'll just combat that purple. So for example, I have like a blue vein on this side of my eye that shows through my skin. So if you guys have anything like that, you could use, you can use the orange to cover that, but I don't mind him, he's cool. Now I go in with the Maybelline Superstay, the 24 hour foundation. This one's really good. It's a it's a pretty full coverage. Well, full coverage for me, but I think it is full coverage. Yeah, full coverage. Yeah, so it's a full coverage foundation, 24 hour wear, and it has a matte finish. So for foundation, you always wanna apply it where you need the most coverage first. So for most people, it's usually under your eyes, your nose, and your chin. And then I smooth it up on my eyelids as a primer. And then I start to taper it out to the rest of my face. And I go down my neck. Instagram froze my account today for like, I guess maybe like a half hour. It was probably only like five minutes, but it felt like a half hour. And I was getting all of these messages coming in saying that they couldn't comment on my photos. I was just freaking out. I've heard a bunch of horror stories about um, shadow banning. It's where Instagram, I guess, hides your, your page from people being able to see it. And I've just heard so many stories of just people not knowing how to fix it and just your account being deleted like randomly, just all kinds of crazy stuff. But for shadow banning, they say that it happens when you use a lot of the same hashtags over and over and over again. And I got freaked out because I, I use maybe like the same one or two in just about every post because they have a lot to do with all of my photos. Like I kind of have a, a really similar overall vibe from my page. So I really need those two. But then after freaking out and trying to call Instagram and trying to email and and all that stuff, which it's so weird because you can't like contact Instagram. Like you used to be able to email them and now you can't even email them. It's like it sends you just to the, the help page and you kind of have to go through like a list of past problems that people have had. All right, so now I have to set my face and I use the Colorless Luxury Powder by Ben Nye. So this one's really good. This keeps you matte throughout the day. So you don't need to reapply and it just keeps your foundation in place. Now I'm going with my Hoola bronzer just to give myself an overall contour. Just kind of like a light contour and then I go in 
with a darker shade just to chisel it a little more. Then I go in with my Ben Nye Media Pro Powder. So this one's HD and this is in the color Neutral. So this one fell on my floor and broke so I can't really hold it up. You know what, maybe if I put it against my hand. I don't know, but, but this is like the perfect gray shade to be able to just give you a nice contour shadow. So for contouring, you just wanna follow your, your own bone structure where you already naturally have a shadow and then just, just make it a little darker. Then I go in with my angled brush by Lamora just to kind of buff that out. And I just ordered that um, JD180 contour nose brush. So we'll see if that makes this step easier. Because <laughs> I feel like contouring my nose is always just a nightmare. But I feel like I also don't put in the effort to really try to master it. I feel like I always just kind of half-ass it. And then I always just get frustrated about half-assing it. All right. So I'm just gonna put some setting powder on here. Let that soak in while we do our eyebrows. And that should just help lighten it up a little bit. Now I'm gonna go in with my Rimmel London eyebrow pencil. And this one is in the shade Hazel. So this one is a little darker than um, the Universal Taupe pencil that I use by um, It Cosmetics. I like to do a little bit of a darker brow when I'm doing a, a darker eyeshadow look, just to kind of keep, keep up the intensity. And I do this kind of messy to get that effortless, chic, vogue eyebrow. So not completely no fucks given, but a little fucks given. Then I just go in with a Q-tip. And I clean up underneath. All right, so now I'm going with the BoxyCharm and Pure Cosmetics palette. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Perfect. Or I guess it would be perfect. <laughs> that is this guy right here. Perfect. So for most smoky eye tutorials, you'll see a ton of transition colors before you get to the darkest color. For me, I don't do that. <laughs> I usually just use kind of like almost like a neutrally orangey peachy color in my crease. So I'm gonna go in with this guy here. By putting shadow underneath your eyes, it just creates a little more depth. All right, now that that's done, I'm gonna go in with the boxy black color this guy here so when people normally do smoky eye looks they do their foundation last for fallout and things like that but I find when I apply my shadows with my fingers you don't get as much fallout as you do when you apply it with um, brushes Now I'm just angling it a little bit on my eye here. You guys ever get dressed up just to go to like Denny's and eat waffles or something? Just to have other people think that you just went to like some extravagant event. Make them think that you're like important. Me either. And I'm just going in with a stippling brush. Just wiping away any fallout. And just for a little added fun, I'm gonna put some glitter on here as well. So I'm gonna use the Ben Nye glitter glue for this. And I'm gonna use the glitter by um, Blend Cosmetics. 
but this is just it says number one but this is like a like a iridescent black i guess so this is just a black glitter with um, a bunch of different colors in it and when using glitters guys don't just go to Joann's and just grab a whole bunch of glitter and just put it on your eye. You need to use um, cosmetic glitter. You could really damage your eye if you don't. The kind they use on your eyes is like a finer, almost powdery sparkle so that you don't scratch your cornea or anything, you know? And I'm just further dusting away here. Since I use my hands for everything, I always keep these um, simple, cleansing facial wipes by my side because I don't even know if you can see that on here because this is what happens I get all gross so I'm just gonna go in with my face powder so this is the fit me matte and poreless powder in 120 Now I'm gonna go in with my Master Precise Skinny Gel Pencil by Maybelline. So this is in Defining Black. And then I'm just gonna go into any of the areas where you can see any skin color peeking through. And that just further smokes it out. It just gives you kind of like a pow, you know? Now I'm not gonna go in with a gel liner on top. You can, um, but I find when you do a really dark eyeshadow, especially black, you don't really need that because you don't really see it. And also it'll kind it'll go over the glitter and just kind of, I guess, ruin like the starriness, you know? Then I'm gonna go in with the Essence False Lash Mascara. All right, this one's really good. Actually, Essence is a really good brand in general. Um, you can find them at Ulta. I feel like everything that I've tried from them is really good. All their mascaras are awesome. They have a lot of curling mascaras and they really do what they say. Now, before I put my lashes on, I'm just gonna do my highlighter. So this, you just wanna hit the top of your bones. The top of your bones. The top of your cheekbones. So kind of where you already have like a natural glow. Just pop that on top of there. And I like to do mine in like a C formation here. Most people do it this way. I do it the opposite way. I just feel like it pops your cheek a little more. And then I always like to do this right above my brows. I feel like it just makes your, your brow bone pop forward. Makes you look fierce. Now I go in and do my nose highlight. And going straight down like that just gives the illusion that you have a really straight nose. And then also this little dot here, just almost gives you like that button nose. And then I like to go and then just clean up the sides here. All right, and for blush, I'm gonna go in with the Kardashian Beauty. You guys can see that most of it's worn away on here but this is the tender ombre cheek color right, I'm just putting it right on the apples on my cheeks there then for lashes I'm gonna go in with the WSP lashes by Amoris you can get these on Amazon pretty cheap I'll link it below for you guys but these are my go-to lashes. I love these. Cause they can be used for even, you know, just every day or dramatic looks. It's crazy. And I use a dark lash adhesive. So this is um, the brand Duo. Now 
I'm just gonna go back in with that highlight from Pure Cosmetics. I don't think I showed this before. This is the Bronze and Brighton palette. This is what I'm using for highlighting. It's just in the inner corners here. Then I'm gonna go in with the shade Really Me by MAC. So this is my all-time favorite lipstick by them. I think this is probably like my third or fourth one already in about a span of like a year. <laughs> so I just like to tap on my lipsticks. And this is a matte formula. And by tapping it in, I feel like it gives you kind of like a soft outline so you don't need to apply lip liner as well. It also just makes your lips look fuller. Then I just need to straighten my hair a little bit and then I'll, I'll put on a dress to keep the illusion. Guys, so this dress is by Boohoo. You can see it. It's a little big on me. I need to get this one fitted. But um, this is the most pain in the ass sequin dress ever. But I thought it would look really cool with this makeup look. So I'm taking one for the team. All right, so if I were to wear this out, I would just need to put my foundation on my chest. To even things out. Then I'll grab my highlighting palette and then probably just do my shoulders because they're close. And I always do this part of my neck for photos. I just really like that look. And I'll probably do like my collarbone. All right guys, this is the finished look. Um, let me know if this changes your opinion on the level of difficulty for a smoky eye. And also if you guys are gonna incorporate any of these steps into your own routine. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one. What is that?